My name is Carol Howard, and I'm the president of the Carroll Group. The Loxahatchee River is one of two federally designated rivers in the state of Florida, and it's a very integral part of the Northern Everglades Project that's part of the Everglades Restoration Program. The Wild and Scenic River has two forks to it, and it has two dams, the Mastin and the Lane Hart built years ago, and there's a tremendous amount of seepage that was coming through the, the dams, as well as some bank erosion that was really problematic for the minimum flows and levels that are necessary for the health of the river. So we decided to uh, approach the South Florida Water Management District with an idea of using an existing material with a new technique, a new design, uh, that was low impact, uh, that in a wild and scenic area was not going to disrupt the environment, and it produced a wonderful, wonderful solution for the seepage problem at both of those dams. Over time, heavy rainfall and flooding have caused washout and erosion of the historic Leinhart and Mastin dams. The dams have proven to be essential structures for maintaining upstream water levels, helping keep swamps full while also combating against saltwater intrusion. The Leinhart Dam actually had a culvert under it that you couldn't see but was causing a tremendous amount of seepage and it had small boils downstream. So it was very, very critical that some type of a seepage barrier be put in place, not only for the long-term integrity of the dam, but also to be able to address the minimum flow and level of that particular river. So we proposed on injecting a two-part chemical grout that was hydro-insensitive at discrete locations that were pre-designed at predetermined depths to create a seepage barrier. A seepage barrier that was highly effective and had very minimal impact on the surrounding environmentally sensitive area. Getting to the site required having a small footprint and ability to perform long installations without needing to resupply or damage the pristine ecosystem. We required an access for a small trailer to be within 300 yards for our hoses to reach the site location. On the Mastin, it was a little bit different. The northern section of the dam was actually very difficult to access and had a blowout around the dam. A tremendous amount of erosion had occurred in the wild and scenic area. So that project, besides stopping the seepage, was to recreate that river bank and stabilize it using the Eurotech product and injecting to help maintain that bank. So the projects that Groundwork Solution have been engaging in are perfect examples that may be tried and true techniques or designs, or maybe the materials that we've used in the past are not the perfect solutions. Our challenges are getting much more complex as we move forward with water resource development and water resource restoration. And Groundwork Solution is on the forefront of using those